<laughs> Hello folks, back here in the planet and here we are again on the Manchester Marathon training programme episode... I can't remember <laughs> anyway um, we're about middle of the training block and it all is going well um, a lot of the recent runs you've seen me do are um, the speed sessions that we've been doing so the 4k long run with marathon goal pace uh, the high print balls and the track workouts um, or the hundreds depending where we were when we did them um, but today is one of the easier runs I'm doing um, and it's 32k that's the plan today 32k all easy running which is should be quite good if it sounds a bit difficult at the moment because I'm running up a hill but um, just taking it easy on the start so yeah in the in the training block I really want to keep developing the aerobic system all the way to the end now I know obviously it's still going to develop a little bit when you're doing the, the speed work so traditionally after the start of the training block the first half of it I've done aerobic training um, and then I switched over to do the speed work in the second half and kind of yes there's easier aerobic runs but it's typically only like an hour an hour and a half max and it's not you know every run so um i've managed to to build into the plan this time where we're doing pretty much nine days of aerobic stuff um in a row and then five days of speed stuff in a row so for the aerobic stuff it means every other weekend we're out doing an aerobic run um but it's a long run so today's run is going to be three hours um, and it's all that aerobic pace so heart rate now 30, 134 beats a minute so really steady really easy going um, so I'll probably no more than uh, about 145 the average is about 142 to 145 I think by the end of the run and that's a plan anyway um, it might go up for some other reason but that should basically be it um, and then I'll probably do some strides at the end as well So it's supposed to be a sunny day today, according to the weather report. <laughs> uh, there was a little bit of sun trying to break through as I drove down, uh, down from the, from the car. Uh, but nothing of the sort has turned up. Um, and yeah, so we're running, one week we're running typically 32 kilometers, next week we're running typically 40 kilometers. And that's, that's going to be the aerobic on the 32 and the 40, 40 kilometers is the speed work in the long run. So, massive development. But what we're doing also today is we are not running with any energy gels. Um, so we might think that's crazy. 32 kilometers or 20 miles, whichever way you, you prefer to call that, without any energy gels. But I like to try that once or twice in the training block. Um, okay, I if I do a, a two hour run, I won't use gels anywhere, but today is a three hour run ish, um, and I won't be using any gels unless I really need it. I do have one or two gels with us, uh, which I'll carry on the second loop, but if I'm feeling you know really bad, the energy is low, but to be honest, the energy is quite good so far, so I don't expect I'll be taking the gels in the run today. Um, because we're in that aerobic zone, we're using the uh, the body's fat stores um, and leftover glycogen as well. Like, but we're using the body's fat stores to fuel the run today. So heart rate, you know, probably nearly four kilometers in. Heart rate, 138 beats per minute at the moment. So should be should be burning fat, shouldn't we? <laughs> um, yeah. So just steady away. Yesterday we probably had the strongest rainstorm we had. I think uh, somewhere around about 20 mile an hour winds wasn't too bad, but bad enough, but the rain just come down thick and heavy all day long. I still managed to get my running yesterday, 
I was only 17 kilometers. I had a little detour into the city off the quayside. And uh, when I got back at the end of the run, I was surprised it was only 70 kilometers. So, anyway, let's crack on. Much to do, much to run. So no gels is a good uh, good thing to train your body to to run long and uh, and burn the fat stores. Um, yes, it's great to have gels in the run. Don't get me wrong, in the marathon I'll probably have six gels with me, something like that. Um, but it's good to do get the adaptations for not using gels because you can get obviously too dependent on them. I remember I used to. When I first started doing marathons, I could probably only take three or four in a marathon. Um, some wouldn't handle it, and that was only certain types of gels. But now um, I can take pretty much all the gels. There are a few out there that I don't get along with, but most of them I can take, and that's only through testing and, and, and using them in both training and in the races. Um, so, yeah, I didn't realise that the stomach could actually get that good at using them. So. But it's quite tempting to, you know, to go and do your track workout and use gels to go on your, you know, your speed session, you use gels, and then you, oh, my long run today is three hours, so I may as well use the gels. You know, it's quite easy to, to, to use them all the time and get dependent on them. So today, if all goes well, no gels. So obviously, also when you're running slow, you're doing the breezy aerobic stuff, you're not running fast. So it's a good chance to develop the uh, the running form. So you can quite easily work on that form. Hello. I can work on my breathing as well. And so it's all kind of kind of nice and relaxed. Just keep reminding myself when I need to, and just running slow for a long time is going to develop the aerobic system, make the heart stronger. So, you might think running form is not that important, but it does come down to a part of your running efficiency. Um, and when I got lab tested, my, um, my running efficiency, if you ever saw that video this time, kind of uh, maybe, I think it was March last year, so almost that time. I got lab tested, we, uh, I got my VO2 max and my running efficiency and all that done. My running economy was one out of 10. 10 being good, one being very poor. So all the poorest. So anything you can do, or anything I can do to improve my running economy is impressive. So let's try and get that one up to two. I doubt we're gonna get up to five ever, but two will be nice. Next time we get lab tested. See the flags are still there. No wind today. Well, almost no wind. It's Newcastle, isn't it? You're gonna get a tiny bit of wind always, but no wind today, really. Not affecting the run. I almost toyed with doing the uh, changing the uh, the workout today or the run from a run to a long run to a long run workout because uh, after the bad weather we've had. In terms of the wind would have been great to do today but no no i've stuck to the plan we're still in that 14 day cycle so it's, so far it's not looking too bad for next weekend so it's fingers crossed it's going to be okay um yeah so the, the other thing i will be having today is I said i'm not having any gels but i'll be having some um electrolyte so i had some electrolyte water before i came down the high five zero i think they call it zero because there's no calories 
in the thing. So, um, that's the one. And then the other bottle, I've got um, uh, the, the, the Precision, the Precision 1500. So a quite high sort of sodium content, which I'll take on for the second lap. So I'm taking on something. I think there are a few calories in there, but not, not too much. But you know, it's not really going to make a difference to, to me. Energy usage today. Run done. Uh, 32 kilometers. No gels. Uh, there's the gel. Didn't use it. That was a challenge today. Uh, it was pretty tough towards the end, but I really didn't want to do the strides at the end. I managed to do them. So in the last in the last one kilometer, um, I did five times 100 kilometer strides. So I'm still can't get all of the uh, Unibed stuff. So I'm using this Tailwind stuff which is uh, also recovery stuff. Can you see it on the tailwind? It's a strange one. The aftertaste is nice. I don't particularly like the initial taste after you swallow it, but um, at the end of the day, it's just recovery mix, isn't it? I'm sure it's like really natural, but... Uh, Okay, so that's it for today. Uh, it's been a good workout. 32 kilometers, um, very easy pace. Heart rate was, uh, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you the heart rate. Average pace, 601, three hours, 12 minutes and 45, plus any time for the stoppages, and 139 average heart rate. So really good aerobic development. Uh, really in that zone where you don't use the uh, you don't use the glycogen stores too much so aye that's it so thanks very much for watching please like comment and subscribe and we'll see you next time manchester training's going well